Hi Stampers, this is Debbie Henderson from Debbie's Designs. I have a new video for you today and I'm going to show you how to do the sponging on this card that I posted a few weeks ago. I had quite a few of you ask if I would do a video to show you how I do the sponging. As you can see there's some darker areas around the outside of it and then just a little tint on the inside and I'll show you how to do that. I'm actually going to be doing a different card today just to show you a variation in the color. So this is the one we're going to do. And both of these cards use the same stamp set that is from the Moon Lake stamp set, which is from the 2015 Occasions catalog. And I just love all the images. Here's a listing of the supplies that we will be using today. Your card base is going to be early espresso cardstock measuring five and a half inches by eight and a half inches scored in the center at four and a quarter and folded something borrowed designer paper two inches by five and a quarter inches and this is also uh, designer paper that will be found in the 2015 occasions catalog and you will need about 30 inches of baker's twine I wanted to show you what the designer paper looks like. It's called Something Borrowed, six different patterns, and they're all uh, with the Whisper White and Sahara Sand color scheme. And you can find them in the catalog on page 42 right here. If you want to order, I'll have the link to my online store at the end of the video. You will also need two cutouts, um, one for the stamping and one for the layered portion. Those are from the Deco Labels Framelits collection and I used the larger one with Marina Mist cardstock and the next one down is with the Whisper White cardstock. I embossed the Marina Mist cardstock with the zigzag embossing folder. And as you can see, when you emboss that, it, it's pretty on both sides. This one is the one with the bumpy side, and this is the one with the flatter side, and this is the side I'm using today. For ink colors, I will be using Strawberry Slush, Marina Mist, and Early Espresso. And the little trick that I'm going to show you today is how to add an additional component to your stamp. Um, like on this one, you see the loon and a little piece of greenery. And if you look at my card, I have two of the greeneries. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's first ink our stamp. Stamp on the right hand side. And then I'm going to clean my stamp very well. Even taking a scrap piece of paper and just getting the dirty off. And then I'm going to be using painter's tape. And I'm going to cover the loon so that it doesn't show up when I stamp it. So I'm just going to put two pieces like this, ink up my stamp, remove the tape, and then come back in and add the second one. So you see there's no loon showing on this part of your stamp image. Okay, now we're ready to add the little sunrise or sunset or whatever you want to call it. What I've done is taken my one and three quarter inch punch and I have cut a piece of scrap paper. And what I'm going to do is add a little bit of temporary adhesive and place it on my cardstock. And then you're going to need the Marina Mist and the Strawberry Slush sponge daubers. And when I use my sponges, I don't clean them. I just have one for each color and I label them and I just reuse them with the same color at all times. Before I do any sponging, there's sometimes there's a lot of ink on the sponge, so I'll just do this just to remove most of it because I want the sponging to be very light and subtle. And I usually start on my scrap, I start going in a circular motion and just go back and forth. And sometimes you don't think there is any color on there because it's so light, but you'll see when I remove my mask, there's enough there. Um, a lot of people just put too much color when they sponge and that 
it's where the problem lies. Okay, so I've pretty much gone around my circle. Now I'm going to remove it. And see how nice that looks. And just to take off some of the edge around the circle, I usually just go around it a few times just to add a little bit of color on the inside. I don't know if you can see that or not, but that's all I do. It's very light and subtle. Now for the water, what I've done is I've stamped the loon on a post-it note. And I made sure when I stamped him that the sticky side was on the bottom so I can stick this to my paper. I'm going to layer this directly over the loon to create a mask. Push that in place. And again, with my Marina Mist sponge dauber this time, I'm going to just lightly, and you can see how much ink is in there even though it had been stored. I don't want a lot of ink. I'm gonna start on the loon and work my way down. And very, very lightly keep adding color and then I'm going to go back a little bit under the loon to darken that up a little bit because that's where the shadows are and then we'll remove that and that's all the ink that's required for this one now a lot of, another little trick that I use quite often is I call it coloring with the ink lines I want to add a little bit of brown tint to my loon so all I'm going to do is bring in a blender pen and use the ink that's already there where you inked your loon just to add a little bit of color and you'll see how you can darken um, to add, add just tints of brown here and there. And that's really all you need to do for the, for the loon. That's enough color. I want to keep it subtle. And then we'll move on to our next step, which is assembling our card. Now I've gone ahead and added a sentiment to the center of the cardstock layer. And I've added six stamping dimensionals. Oops, one of my backings is still on there. And I'm going to layer that over my Marina Mist layer. And then the card front, we're gonna add our designer paper. I'm going to put snail adhesive and put that on the bottom and center it so that all three sides are equal. Press that in place. And then for the baker's twine, I'm going, I want my bow on the left hand side. So I'm going to leave it um, a couple inches hanging and then wrap it around twice. And don't worry about the placement until everything's all done. You're gonna tie a knot. Tie your bow. And what I do when I make my bows is this is quite large, so I just pull it in, tighten, pull it in, and tighten again and then I'm going to worry about lining this up on the edge of my cardstock and then we'll glue our marina mist layer and what I'm doing is the little points right here I'm lining that up with my designer paper to make sure everything is nice and straight and to finish off the card, I always have to have a little bit of bling on my card. I go through a lot of rhinestones and pearls, so I'm going to start with the largest size rhinestone to the medium size and then to the smallest. Press them in place. And all that's left to do is trim my baker's twine. And voila, the card is all finished and you've now learned how to sponge i hope you'll give it a try if you have any questions feel free to email me or contact me oh look i have a rhinestone on my finger um, i will be listing the supplies that i used on my card at the end of the video and i would love to see you uh, visit my online store thanks for stopping by